A piece of history is now here in Virginia Beach, and it's taking us all the way back to World War II. Yeah, a bomber plane used to train pilots for combat was pulled from Lake Michigan after sitting at the bottom for more than 50 years. And as Anne Sprocker reports, it's now on display at the Military Aviation Museum. This aircraft has seen better days. Yeah, it landed just right onto the bottom. Rusted and corroded from sitting at the bottom of Lake Michigan for decades following 1944, history of the Second World War is etched into the metal of this bomber. The Military Aviation Museum Director Keegan Chetwin says they wanted to bring it here to Virginia Beach to help restore it. Almost brand new when it crashed. Uh, it was about 120 days old. It had just come from the factory. The airplane was actually, like as it recovered in the 90s and then became property of the U.S. Navy once again. While this Dauntless didn't see any action on the Pacific Coast, it did play a key role in training pilots for combat in World War II. So going into the war, the Navy had a bit of uh, foresight and, and basically said, we're going to have a problem if we end up in this, in this large global war. Um, so a suggestion was made that they investigate doing so in the Great Lakes. Chetwin says the pilot survived the crash, but the landing error left this plane to rest in the lake for about 50 years. The museum even connected with the family of the pilot who last flew it. In this case, the airplane was being flown by uh, Lieutenant Charles L. Ford III. Uh, uh, he did succeed in becoming carrier qualified. Uh, in spite of the accident. Now this Dauntless will be flying off to a new place to be restored and hopefully will soon take to the skies like the old days. In Virginia Beach, I'm Anne Sparocco for 13 News Now.